Alright guys, welcome to your seventh video, and in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on some more of the styling. I don't even know if we're going to get finished with it, but anyways, that's what we're going to be doing. So the first thing I want to do is I want to style a bunch of headers. I'm going to go start at header 2, and then I'm just going to work my way down until header 6. Now each of these headers is going to be a little bit different. The first one is kind of like the main header. It's whenever you need a title or a description, I want to make it these dark gray letters because I just think it looks cool. I just think gray with this theme looks quite beautiful. So that's what this is, the main titles. And for the font, family, wow, really messed that one up. Font family, most of them are going to be uh, Arial. I like having the same font scheme. And the font size for these is 14 pixels. And the color, that dark gray color is hexadecimal 404040. 40. It's actually pretty fun to type. So that is header two. And now from uh, here on, I want to go to header three. Now let me go ahead and show you guys header three. Header three is actually the form titles. And I'll actually go ahead and add a comment. But whenever we build our forms, let's see what's the form, add item. At the top of these forms, you can see a title right here. That title is white, and it also has a little bit of a shadow. I don't know if you guys can see that through YouTube, but there's a little bit of a shadow what makes it pop out a little bit. So before I go any further, let me go ahead and add a comment. Now to add a comment on in CSS, that's how you do it. And I'm just going to name these dark um, gray titles, even though gray is spelled differently depending on where you live and this is just going to be form titles now for those white letters the first thing I want to do is I want to add a margin bottom so basically I want some space on the bottom between the title and where the rest of the form elements are now if I didn't have any space between this title and these elements then these would be pushed right up against this and it would look really weird so that's why you usually want to put a margin bottom right on that so margin bottom is 15 pixels I think that looks pretty appropriate the font size for this and actually I'm gonna copy when possible these are going to be 22 pixels and a color of white. Now the last thing we need is that text shadow. So text shadow and whenever you make a shadow it needs a couple parameters. The first one is pretty much how far away from the element do you want the shadow. Well we only want one a pixel to the right and a pixel down. So pretty much the first two parameters are your x and y coordinates. One pixel, one pixel. Now what this means is take the shadow, move it right one and down one because remember x y is in the top left now the next thing is how far do you want to blur the shadow do you want it really tight and crisp or do you want it spread out in a uh, blurry kind of like you would see in real life well I think a good blur is three pixels it pretty much depends on the size of your element the bigger the element the blurrier the shadow in my opinion and the last thing is the color not all of the shadows have to be completely about uh, black and if they are completely black they sometimes look a little bit funny so I'm gonna make mine 080808 which is a shade of gray which I think works really well for titles now for heading 4 moving right along this is pretty much gonna be the whenever we're looking well I didn't even make the page yet so I'll explain it later but anyways for heading 4 we want font family and a font size of 1414 and the last thing we want is a font weight of normal. Now, you're saying, wait a minute, isn't font weight normal by default? Well, yes it is in most cases, but whenever you make a heading, the uh, browser automatically makes that heading bold. So if you want it to be normal, you need to add this font weight property. And remember, this is only for headings, normal. So the last thing I want is a nice gray color in the shade of this is 60 60 60 and for heading 5 what this is going to be is a prompt for shipping now if I go ahead and um, look at my shipping information I got a couple things here so that's what I'm going to go ahead and create in this uh, next two uh, headers so heading 5 is text 
align center, which obviously centers the text. Um, the font family is Arial. For the font size, let me just go ahead and make this 14. I think that's an appropriate size. And for the last thing, the color is actually going to be right here, 40, 40, 40. So I probably just could go ahead and grab that whole thing, but I didn't. And the last thing we want is the address for your shipping info. So hold on, let me go ahead and think about this. Um, I want a different color, so okay, I figured this out. So right now, this is pretty much um, what you see right here. It's centered. It's a uh, bold and it stands out a nice dark gray. Now for this address right here, what I want to do is I don't want to make it bold. I pretty much want to do the same thing, but not bold and maybe a different shade of gray. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So the last thing that address was H6. And I might as well make this H5. Um, what am I going to call it? Address prompt. I will name H6 address in shipping info. You guys know what it is. So for this one, let's go ahead and knock this baby out. Text center, text line center. Uh, what else? Arial 14 normal. Arial 14. And font weight normal because remember you don't forget that all headers are bolded by default and for the color I want 60 60 60 how beautiful so as you can see a lot of these headers are very similar but they um, have a different appearance maybe only one or two attributes are different and what this is going to do is it's going to give you a different flavor so you aren't looking at the exact same text across your whole website but if we made each one of these elements completely random like one red bold one green really big and a weird um, font family then it wouldn't flow together so that's a uh, typically one of the keys whenever you're making a website to make a bunch of different fonts but have them all related in a sense and that gives your web page um, you know not so consistent of a feel but makes it artistic and beautiful so there you go there you have it in the next tutorial what we're going to be doing is we're going to be styling the tables and links and I'm going to totally well you know what I'm just going to quit rambling you'll see in the next tutorial so thank you for watching I'll see you then